Guys, another week in Destiny 2, another weekly reset. Today is August 25th, 2020. Let's go check it out. Hey, my name is Wids, and today we're gonna check out the new weekly reset to see if there is anything new in the horizon in Destiny 2. So we can see Eva Levante is still here. So Solstice of Hero is still going strong. So if you haven't completed your armor set for Solstice of Hero event, just make sure you do that. And uh, let's go check out the other area. On the Drifter side, we still got the quest, the weekly mission, the means to an end quest. So make sure you pick this up for some good reward make sure you pick it up for some pinnacle gear and also don't forget the weekly bounties and all those so the daily bounties that you can use for xp and now as usual make sure you check out all the vendors and see what kind of bounties they have to offer and then just uh, complete those bounties and get some powerful gear so don't forget to get around and uh Check out all the vendors that you need to so for some gear. Now let's go around the directory. First, we're gonna check out Gambit. We have Gambit Prime and uh, regular Gambit. So you know the deal. And for the Crucible, you got all the modes going on. So you, if you're looking for some pinnacle gear, just make sure you do the one that asks you to do four matches. And then uh, also the ones that ask you to do three. One is give you powerful, one gives you uh, pinnacle. And we have mayhem in the rotation. So go have some fun and super out. Now let's go to the moon. And as usual on the moon, we get the nightmare hunt. The first one, we got isolation on top. And then uh, we got servitude uh, to the right and then you got pride on the bottom and uh, don't forget to check out the altars of souls in souls harbor that way you can uh, do that event there and then get some uh, good legendary gear some sniper rifle rocket launcher you name it you can have it there so it rotates on a daily basis so make sure you check it out and then on uh, the pit of heresy dungeon is here so it's part of the uh, soldiers of armor's hero uh the last magnificent set and uh so you need to do this make sure you check it out and uh, also god and our salvation is on the moon so if you're trying to do this raid just make sure you get a team together and uh, go at it but now let's check out the vanguard and as usual do the strikes the three strikes make sure you match the subclass that it asks you to do for today and uh, for today we know we have arc singe and then we have blackout and we have grenadier so make sure you match Arc Sanger subclass. That way you can get credit for this strike. And then for the Nightfall the ordeal, you will you will get uh, a Garden World this week. And then if you complete this ordeal Nightfall, you will get the Universal Wave Function. That's a ship that you can get if you complete this ordeal. So you will get the Grandmaster, and then you also get all the regular one. When you do three of those, you will get powerful gear and you get a chance to get it in the, either in the Grandmaster or in the regular, you get the wave function. And now for the Legacy Nightfall, we're going to check out the first one we have going on is the Strange Terrain. And if you do the Strange Terrain, you will get the Braytech Osprey. That's a good rocket launcher. If you don't have it, make sure you pick up pick it up for your action or just do that strike. So most likely you probably get it if you farm for it. And then the second one, we got a Will of the Thousand. If you complete the Will of the Thousand, you will get the Worm God Incarnation. It's a transmic effect. And then uh, last but not least for the Legacy Night 4, we got the Brood Hole. There is no special loot for this. So you just do it just for fun or just for some regular legendary good I can drop there. And if you're trying to find out what the flashpoint is for this week, it is on Titan. So you do activities on Titan and you will get to 100%. Once you get to 100%, you will get some powerful gear. And also, you also have the contact public event just to move from IO to Titan. So this is uh, part one of uh, the means to an end quest where if you do that public event there, 
then you complete the first part of the weekly mission. So, Titan is the way to go this week. And if you're still interested in the menagerie, so go to Nessus and then go down the bottom and you'll see the menagerie directory is right there. And you can do the normal menagerie if you do the normal one. The modifiers are Arc Sense, Blackout, and Grenadier, just like the Strikes. And then for the Heroic Menagerie, you'll get Extinguished, Grenadier, Famine, and Solar Sense. So make sure you take your chance there. If you're trying to farm for some uh, mods, like the Hive mods, you can find there if you're still looking for those. If you are still interested in uh, the Escalation Protocol, so you can do Escalation Protocol and this week uh, you can get the Shotgun. And uh, the bus for this week is going to be Nera Abath, the Quest of Zol, that's the big bus. And uh, if you completed uh, all to level 7, you can get the shotgun to drop. So this is one of the best shotgun in the game. It used to be so OP, they nerfed it. But you can, if you're still trying to get it for your collection, just uh, go there and farm in Escalation Protocol. Now we move on to the store and on the front page uh, we'll get uh, some All right, this is shader, it's kind of shiny Projection All right. Now let's go to the bright dust, the regular bright dust page. Alright guys, this is it for today. There doesn't seem to be anything new this week. So that was the weekly reset for August 25th, 2020. Hope you find something interesting to do. See you guys later.